you trust Christ as your Savior, you will be saved. He, he died for us. He promises us eternal life if we will believe. If we will just trust in His Son and trust in what He did on the cross for our salvation, God will save you. He'll save me. The Bible says He promises us eternal life. You can know today if you trust Christ as your Savior, if you believe He died on a cross for your sins, and you're trusting in that alone to save you. You are trusting in the death. You are trusting in the blood of Jesus Christ to save you. If that is you today, you're ready to die. You're ready to go into eternity. You could die today. And you'd go straight to heaven because you trust Christ as your Savior. That's all that is required of us to be justified before God is faith. The Bible says we conclude that a man is justified by faith and that alone. God bless you, sir. You have a good day. It's a free gift. We receive the gift by faith. God did all the work. God is the one that became a man. He's the one that suffered and died upon a cross for our sins. He did his part. Now all we have to do is, is just trust him to save us. Just believe that what he did on that cross will save us. Just trust what he did on that cross to save us. And if you will put your faith in him as your risen Lord, if you will believe that he died on a cross for your sins, and if you will just trust in him alone, to save you, God will save you. That's what the scripture says. Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. The way to heaven is not a religion. The way to heaven is not by you turning from your sins. The way to heaven is not by your water baptism. Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me except through Jesus Christ. The way to heaven is not a religion. Religion didn't die for you. Jesus died for you on a cross. And the Bible says that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. All sin. The Bible says in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Through his blood, not through turning from your sin, not through obeying the Ten Commandments, not through water baptism, this water baptism, not through works of charity, not through anything that you do. It's through the blood of Christ. The Bible says in Him we have redemption. Through His blood. Through His blood we have forgiveness of sins. Are you trusting in what Jesus did on the cross to save you? If you're not, then the Bible says you're not saved. And the Bible says if you die today, you go to hell. If you're not trusting Jesus as your Savior, that's what the Bible says. The Bible says, he who believes in the Son has eternal life. But he who does not believe, he who does not trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, the Bible says, will we'll never see life. We'll never see eternal life with God. The Bible says God's wrath remains on you if you don't trust Christ as your Savior. If you're not trusting in Him to save you, Bible says you're doomed. That's what the scripture says. You have no hope outside of Christ. All of your hope is in Christ. All your hope of seeing heaven, all, all, all your hope of having all your sins forgiven is in Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir. God bless. It's a gift of God. Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. This is bad news. The wages of sin is death. We've all sinned. If you've ever lied or stolen or lusted or hated or taken God's name in vain or sex outside of marriage or gotten drunk, if, you, if you've ever done these things, then you've sinned against God and you need Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because the Bible says the penalty for sin is death, then hell. This is bad news. This is not the good news. This is not the good news. Now this is the good news, is that God died for you on a cross as a man. He did that for you. He rose from the dead. And if you will believe, if you'll trust Christ as your Savior, you will be saved. That is the good news. Folks, our religious works, us, in the things that we can do, turning from our sins, obeying the Ten Commandments, works of charity, they are filthy rags 
in the sight of God. God would say to you today, don't bring your filthy rags before my throne. Bring the blood of my son. Bring what he did on the cross before me, and I will accept you if you'll trust Jesus Christ as your Savior. If you'll trust what he did on the cross to save you, you can come before me. Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. God became a man for you, and as a man, God died for you on the cross. That's how much he loves you. God demonstrated his love for you, that as a man, God shed his blood on the cross for, for all the sin that we've done, and we've all sinned against God. God is omniscient. God is all-knowing. He knew every single sin that man would ever do in every single generation, and God took every single sin that man has ever done in 2,000 years ago, he put it all on Jesus at the cross, and Jesus died for all of our sins. And Jesus said it's finished right before he died. It's paid in full. Now for you to be saved, you got to trust Christ as your Savior. Enjoy the show.